Good morning. This is Monday, November the 30th for our upper room reading for today. The title is A Generous Gift. Our uh, regular scripture reading for today is John 21, 15 through 17. <clears throat> our focal verse for today is found in Philippians, though it's chapter 2, verses 4 and 5. Let each of you look not to your own interest, but to the interest of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Jesus Christ. Uh, so we have our devotional sent in today by Robert E. Boratin of Oregon. And Robert writes, <clears throat> I volunteer with an organization that provides meals to people in need. One day when I delivered a meal to Tom, I noticed a repairman approaching the home next door. I learned that Tom had secretly paid to have his neighbor's broken hot water heater replaced. Knowing they were unemployed, had young children, and had no funds to cover such a cost. I asked Tom why he didn't tell the family about his generous act, and he replied, because I want the credit to go to the Lord, not to me. Tom has a variety of health issues and lives with few amenities. He has a strong and abiding faith in Jesus Christ. For me, Tom's kind act and humility are perfect examples of what it means to be a Christian. If we wish to claim that title, we must consider how we will tend to Christ's lambs and feed God's sheep. By following in Christ's footsteps, we can extend God's blessings to others and show by example with kind words and actions the love of God for all people. And the thought for today is, <clears throat> when done in love, my acts of service reflect God's mercy and grace. In our prayer. Gracious Lord, help us to glorify you as we serve others. Amen. <clears throat>